Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Lily Reads It. If you're new here, welcome. We're going to do a weekly reading for April 17th to the 23rd for all signs. Um, not all signs. We're going to do all elements. <laughs> um, the elements will be timestamped down below in the comments. If you are interested in a personal reading, the, the link is in the description box as well. Also, my Instagram is there where I do post daily readings for each element. And TikTok where I go live every night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time and answer any questions um, as far as readings that you may have. All right, let's get started. Let's see what element we are doing first. Okay, it looks like fire signs with the wands. Okay, Aries Leo Sag. So let me start 51 seconds. Fire signs. All right. Fire signs, let's get started. Let's see what's coming in for your week. First, I'm going to pull a message for you, fire signs. I hope you guys have been having a good week so far. Can you believe that April is almost done? Also, fire signs, I am going to do a, a reading for you for what's to come for the new year. That's my goal. I know it's going to be a little late because your season is almost over in a couple days. But I'm still going to do it for you. All right, let's see a message for my fire signs for this week. Aries Leo Sag, a message for my fire signs this week. Lord Jesus. Yeah, that is the one that fell. Okay. All right, so you have the number six fire signs. Six could be very significant to you. And you have dragons. Slay them all. Okay, so let's read what this means in the book. Number six. All right. When the heart is involved, people don't always have the best intentions. They will pretend they're good for you, only for you to find out they're toxic or even abusive. The time has come to face your dragons, and you must slay them before they slay you. Of course, don't literally slay them, but make sure they, they know you won't stand for their mistreatment. Ooh, so someone around you may be toxic, mistreating you, fire signs. It's time to, this reminds me of the Queen of Swords, basically cutting off anything that no longer serves you. Okay. All right. So that was your message for the week. Now let's get into it. Spirit Guide Sense says, what's happening for my fire signs on Monday? Yep, see, someone around you... <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, please. Someone around you is being dishonest because you have the Seven of Swords here for Monday. So be careful. Fire signs. Wednesday. Thursday, please. Too many for Thursday. Thursday, please. Friday. Saturday. And Sunday. Sunday looks like a good day. I'm going to take both these cards. And you have, wow, okay. And then also, keep in mind, guys, okay? I, I can't say this enough. Find out what your moon sign is. Find out what your Venus is. You're probably checking your sun sign, which is what we know we all are based on our birthday. But what is your sun, moon, rising, Venus? Because if this doesn't resonate with you, your moon, you might be operating out of your moon, which is your emotions. You might be operating out of love, which is you know, your Venus or out of your career, which is Venus as well. Okay. Um, how you make money. So check those out as well to get the full picture for your week. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the two of cups. Okay. So definitely focusing on soulmate energy this week, falling in love with the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness, and the ending of challenging times. Okay. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love is your overall energy for this week. Two of cups. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Monday, you have the Seven of Swords, okay? This is someone that's being dishonest. Um, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. This can mean a material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself, okay? Tuesday, King of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. This is definitely someone that's emotionally available for you, someone that's trustworthy, in tune with their emotions, very loving. 
Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe. A solid romantic relationship. Hidden but well-intentioned emotions. A chair... Um, sorry, that doesn't really matter. Seeing a counselor as well can mean that on Tuesday. Okay, seven of pentacles for Wednesday. This is planting your seeds, preparing for something. Okay, seeds well planted. Efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. Yeah. Plant those seeds, fire signs. Now we got Thursday, the king of money. So you already have the king of cups. Now you have the king of money, king of pentacles. A time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work for as well. So it looks like everything financially is coming into place for you. Friday, three of monies, three of pentacles. Working hard towards a goal, okay? Do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. Being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and excellent reputation in the workplace on Friday. So you can be working really hard or towards something, maybe promotion, a raise, doing what you love, right? Focusing on your craft on Friday. Saturday, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay. Is this the Ace of Swords? Yes, it is. Okay. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement. Overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely. Remain objective. So one thing about the Ace of Swords is, you know, making a decision mentally and not emotionally. Getting clarity on things, right? Cutting off things that don't serve you, making a decision. So that could be very prominent for you on Saturday. And then we have Sunday. Sunday looks like a good day for you, Fire Signs. You have the Lover's Card and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So Ten of Pentacles is happy, stability, family, right? Um, contentment in the fa family and home life. And then the Lover's. Gemini energy here. Let's see. The lovers embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. Ten of Pentacles. Final financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree and passing on knowledge during this time. Okay. So fire signs, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come back and let me know if that resonated with you for the week. And please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Please, a like it goes a long way. It just takes one second to hit that like button for me. Let's see what element we are doing next. Drink me some of my turmeric tea. All right, what element are we doing next? That's Leo. We already did fire signs. All right, looks like we're doing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles here. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn at 847 Earth. All right, Earth signs. Let's see what your weekly reading is. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, all right, this is for the week of April 17th to the 23rd, okay? I'm just shuffling those a little bit. Let's see what your message is for the week. Taurus Virgo Capricorn for the week. What is their message for the week, Spirit Guides Ancestors? What is my Taurus Virgo Capricorn's message for the week? All right, so you have the number 22. You could be seeing twos a lot. Um, also, two plus two is four. So you could be seeing fours. Four and two may be significant for you. All right, this is library. Take control of your own narrative. Let's read what this is saying in the book. Take control of your own narrative. All right. Um, someone else is trying to call the shots in your life. They think that you 
you can waltz in and control your every move and you need to say no to their manipulation. It might seem tempting to relinquish control, but if you give someone else power over you, your narrative chaos will ensue and it will be all in, in their favor, not yours. The stories inside of you make you a library on the verge of bursting, but only if you're the one to pick up the pen. So this is just kind of like taking control of your life, not allowing others to manipulate or to sway you in any other direction than what you choose. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's see what's coming in for my Taurus Virgo Capricorn for this week. Please show me for Monday. Oops. Oh. Yeah, I'm taking that. No. All right. <clears throat> what's coming in for Monday for my Earth signs? sure these are well all right monday for my earth signs monday please <clears throat> the world card looks good tuesday <laughs> wednesday thursday please for my towards virgo capricorn Wow, you guys have like a lot of major cards here this week. Friday. Saturday. Ooh, come through Saturday. Sunday. All right. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, overall energy is the Page of Cups. Okay, so Page of Cups can mean like an apology, an offer here, and love. Um, definitely an offer, okay? Messages regarding relationships. This is your overall energy for the week. New emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social inv invitations or events, hike, heightened psychic abilities. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> All right, Monday, Earth Signs, we have the World Card. The World Card are completions of cycles, okay? Endings and new beginnings, but in a good way. A brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Yes. Tuesday, the Knight of Cups. Okay, this is an offer of love. <clears throat> Could be from a water sign, okay? Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and or po poetry. Oh my gosh, Bless me. <laughs> Wednesday, we have balance. Okay, balance for Wednesday. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. This kind of reminds me of like temperance energy too, right? Bringing things into balance. Thursday, the moon card. Pisces, cancer energy, things being revealed to you, okay, that may have been hidden or things that you cannot see at this moment in time, but eventually they will come to light. <clears throat> Listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. Friday, three of pentacles. Fire signs got this too, so you could have fire in your chart. Three of pentacles on Friday. Do what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative end of ears, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, an excellent reputation. Okay, so you could be working really hard towards a goal on Friday as far as it comes to money. Saturday, four of wands. Okay, four of wands for me is using marriage commitment, 
a celebration. You could be um, spending time with friends and family, maybe going to a baby shower, a wedding. Okay. So, so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. And then Sunday, we have release. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. Spiritual transformation on Sunday. Okay. Earth signs, I hope you enjoyed your weekly reading. Please come back and let me know if that resonated with you. If this doesn't resonate, please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, keep in mind, you may not be operating out of your sun sign. Okay. All right, let's see what element is next. What element is next? Already did fire. Already did fire. Fire want to go again so bad. Justice is Libra energy. So we're going to do air signs. Air signs. How are you guys doing? Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if this reading resonated with you. Okay, there is links to my Instagram and TikTok in the description box below. We are doing a weekly reading for you for April 17th to the 23rd. Let's get a message for you for the week, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Let's see. What is my message for the week for my Libra Gemini Aquarius? Leave a Gemini Aquarius. We got two. I'm gonna spread these out and see which one wants to come out. Leave a Gemini Aquarius. Message for the week for my Libra Gemini Aquarius. All right, so you have the number 14, which is five. So 14 or five could be very significant to you. Okay, so you have thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. Weave together the crown you deserve. Let's read what that means. It sounds beautiful. 14 for my air signs. This right here is the ultimate card of celebration, not just of yourself. You're amazing, though, but of those around you. When you're done putting on your crown each and every morning, go and help someone else put on theirs. You have so much love and wisdom to spread, so don't waste it. Self-love is essential, but community is important, too. So Spirit wants you to spend some time now put it, not only putting into yourself, but others this week, okay? Help someone out this week, so, especially if you're strong in a certain area. Air sign, spirit is saying, you know, use that and help someone else. Use that ability and help someone else this week. Okay. All right. Let's see what's coming in for you, air signs, for the week of April 17th. Right. Monday, please. Monday. Tuesday for my air signs, please. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Your money might be a little imbalanced. I usually don't read reversals, but I do feel like I have to say this to somebody just in case um, because the Nine of Pentacles did come out in reverse. And now I have the Five of Pentacles here, which is a lack of money. So I'm going to read the Nine of Pentacles upright for Tuesday. But keep in mind, this can also mean a lack. 
you could be lacking it. You need like your goal is to get to this. Um, this is for Tuesday. Your goal is probably to get to the nine of pentacles, but you're probably maybe lacking. If you are doing well with the nine of pentacles, which means money is looking really good, then keep in mind, don't overspend because there could be something unexpected when it comes to finances that be that could be coming up for you. So don't overspend thinking you got it like that. And then, you know. All right, so let's get started. Your overall energy for the week is the Ace of Cups, okay? This is a, a love, an offer in love, okay? Brand new beginning in love. Maybe it's a new person coming in. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter or a new home coming in for you. Okay, so that's for the week. All right, Monday, you have the Queen of Wands. Passionate energy here. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and your personal life. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Tuesday, the nine of money. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. So this could be your goal or you could be already in this energy. Okay, take it how it resonates. Buying yourself something special. Happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoying your solitude. Wednesday, we have the moon card. Pisces, Cancer, energy. Things being revealed. Trusting your intuition. Okay. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear for you. So something may be hidden during this time, but it's getting ready to be revealed. Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Thursday, five of pentacles. For me, five of pentacles, it can mean, you know, a lack of money, a loss of money. This can also mean, you know, when it has to deal with love, this can mean someone kind of ghosting you, someone, maybe you blocked someone or they blocked you, um, pulling away communication, right? There's a lack of something. Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. Fear surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing to become self-employed. This is for Thursday. Friday, you have the strength card, Leo Energy. Personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing that you're stronger than you knew. Saturday, we have balance. For me, this is almost like temperance, Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. And Sunday, you have the King of Money, okay, and the World card. So the World card is definitely a completion of a cycle in a good way, an ending, but a new beginning. And then you have the King of Pentacles. Taurus energy with the King of Pentacles, yes. Okay, King of Pentacles, a time of great success, financial security, and prosperity. The Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully. A good person to work for. In the world card, a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Yeah. All right. So I hope you enjoy your weekly reading. Air signs, please hit that like button for me. It just takes one second to do that. I would really appreciate it. And um, all right. Now we have water signs for the week. So I'm going to do water signs at 24, 24. Water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. How are you guys doing? Let's get started on your weekly reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if you did enjoy this reading. If this reading does not resonate with you, please make sure you're taking, you're checking your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Okay, because you could be operating out of something different. This is for the week of April 17th to the 23rd. 
right. Let's see what your message is for the week. This is for my Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, what is their message for this week? Flower. Be honest with yourself. You have the number 17 here. So 17 could be significant and 8 as well. Because 1 plus 7 is 8. Let's read what this means. She's beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty card. Let's see. We do ourselves a major disservice when we aren't truthful with ourselves. There's something you know to be true, yet you continue to ignore it. Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. It's time for you to face reality. Even if it makes you uncomfortable, no matter the outcome, it won't be nearly as bad as you think. Period. Water signs, come on. Y'all in your emotions this week. All right, let's see what's going on. Let me shuffle these cards a little bit. It's for my Cancer Scorpio Pisces for the week of April 17th. All right, let's see what's coming in for Monday. Ooh, come through Tuesday. Wednesday for my Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Thursday. Friday. Saturday and Sunday was coming in for Sunday. All right. At the bottom of the deck for your overall energy for the week, you have the Knight of Cups. An offer in love could be from a water sign. Does not have to be. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Falling in love, being swept off your feet. A sudden love affair. A lack of balance in a relationship. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. A love of art and poetry. I love that. So you guys could be dealing with someone in love this week. It doesn't have to be bad. It could be very good, actually. Or maybe a brand new start in love with someone. All right, let's see what Monday is looking like. Monday, we have release. Okay. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. Tuesday, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Six of Pentacles for me is someone that's like selfless, right? They give, 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 but don't really get much in return. Okay. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance. Borrowing wisely or paying off a debt. Sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Okay. Wednesday, also, let me mention, you guys have a lot of sixes here. Six could be significant to you. It could be a life path number. Or it just could be very significant to you. Okay. Um, all right. Wednesday, the Six of Swords. The ending of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness. Travel or relocating. Thursday, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Stability and monies and your monies, okay? This is looking really good. All right. So enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoying your solitude. Friday, you have the lovers. Gemini energy. Okay. Okay. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So you could be dealing with love too on Friday. I mean, Friday is perfect for love. Friday is my love day. So 
keep in mind, um, you know, something that shows up for Thursday could have happened on Wednesday already. Time is fluent, right? Depending on you, it's not going to always resonate exactly with each person, but take out resonates. Saturday, you have the Seven of Cups. Too many options here. Maybe ne needing to make a decision. Make a choice. Make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options. This can also mean addiction, okay? So be careful with, you know, overindulging in things as well, okay? And then Sunday, we have the Two of Wands. Two of Wands fire energy taking the next steps bold and ambitious choices partnering with others who share your dreams expanding your plans continuing to move forward all right water signs i hope you enjoyed your weekly reading as well if that resonated please let me know okay and i will see you guys on the next one thank you so much please remember to like share subscribe and comment and if you're interested in a personal reading with me there is a link in the description box down below have a good day bye